We're here just before the start of the final stage of the Tour of Alberta, talking with Gord Fraser, Director Sportif for Team Canada and National Coach. Uh, Gord, um, yesterday with Antoine making the break and then finishing fifth and getting most aggressive rider um, was uh, probably the, the biggest day of the Tour for Team Canada, I guess. Yeah, absolutely, Rob. It was a highlight. I mean, it's what we've been looking for all week. Um, basically, the motto for the team going into this race was was opportunity. You know, every day is an opportunity. And, um, you know, the way the tactics play out the first few days with all the wind and stuff, it's uh, really controlled by the uh, the top teams, you know. Um, but uh, there was an opportunity the, the day before yesterday when uh, after the it settled down after the crosswinds there were some attacks and uh, we just missed it and we only had two in the front group, uh, you know six of the guys were in the in the second group so it's hard to con you know cover attacks with only two guys but uh, I thought Antoine would have uh, have have the uh, capacity to go with that move and he was really disappointed and uh, so yesterday it was just again you know reinforcing the, the the mission of the team for cycling canada and that's to uh you know give these guys opportunity to race against the the top riders in the world and uh, antoine really took the like i said the bull by the horns and got in got in the move and uh, swapped off with those with those guys um, and then you know coming to the end actually antoine was plotting where where he wanted to attack and when I heard that it's like I knew he was on a good day he's obviously as strong as all these guys and uh, his uh, is what I call his IQ on the bike is it, it matches his ability as well he's, he's actually quite advanced for his age he has a really keen sense of tactics and uh, it wasn't long after we discussed um, where he was going to attack he was kind of preempted by Slagter going for the KOM and he was the one we kind of targeted just because his form has been really good of late and uh, you know all these guys are prepping for the world tour and, and the world championships and Slyter can get up short steep hills with the best he won the tour down under uh, in January so um, we kind of targeted him and and uh, obviously when him and Gesh got away that that was that was danger and luckily there was enough horsepower in that uh, the remnants of the break to kind of keep them close and then Antoine took took matters in his own hands and and made the move to go across and of course with Cadell and, and Ben Day who rides, uh, who's been riding really well this year. Um, they made the junction and, and then after that it's just executing the finale and you know the only thing I said to him was uh, you know don't be the one to close the gaps you know when there's attacks going let those pro tour guys um, do the work to close gaps it's not up to you and you gotta you gotta gamble a bit when you when you when you Try to win a race at this level, you have to be prepared to lose sometimes. And and he did everything perfect. It was just apparent he was uh, he was running out of gas. I think if the the stage uh, was about five ten k a little sh uh, shorter, um, or perhaps if uh, if there wasn't the uh, the pressure from the remnants of the break, they're sitting within that minute. Um, so they were full gas um, from thirty k out all the way to the line. You saw there was no attacks because of that uh, threat of that group coming back. So. You know, if things were a little different, I think he could have aspired to, to the stage win. And, but it was a good realization for him. Obviously, with, uh, with Bontrager, he's going to graduate from that program, so he's a little bit in limbo right now. And, you know, of course, he needed uh, a good performance to show the teams just uh, what he's capable of, and hopefully that was the catalyst for him to, uh, to keep progressing with his career. He's a, he's a dynamite talent, and uh, Cycling Canada, you know, is, is lucky to have him. And hopefully there's more young Antoines out there and, maybe inspired by that ride and that's what this tour of alberta is about hopefully inspiring a whole new generation of canadian cyclists so i mean for you and what 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 are you hoping i mean we talked about antoine and and you know what he's been learning and, and hopefully moving up to, to a bigger team but for you what are you hoping all the riders take away from uh from this experience well like uh the team is an interesting composition right um most of the top Canadians already were engaged either with their trade teams or they were ineligible with their trade teams uh, competing uh, with them somewhere else like uh, Swain and, and, and Christian, um, Fra Francois, Dominique, you know, they're, they're all over there racing in Europe. So um, then we have the Jeu de Francophonie, uh, a lot of the young talent uh, was engaged in that. So uh, to, to actually come up with a roster for this race was, uh, it took a bit of resources and, and some good uh, consultations with uh, with my uh, colleague uh, Luke uh, Luke Arsenault the uh, spar coach 
So for a couple of the guys, the young riders, this is this is their first introduction to racing against uh, Peter Sagan and Ryder Hegedal and Cadell Evans and stuff. So, you know, it was more a question of just getting them to stop stargazing at the start. You know, they have to put on their their cycling shorts one leg at a time like everyone else and, and uh, get down to work and execute our tactics. Not get distracted by the moment and, uh, you know, be a part of this race. And... Uh, there's some other like journeyman guys like Lachance and Derek St. John and Jean Sebastien Perron. You know, giving these guys an opportunity to uh, to compete at this level, I thought was pretty unique. And those guys have been kind of lunch pail riders for many years, and and uh, to see them contribute to the collective that we have here has been really rewarding for me. And uh, I'm excited to give them that opportunity. And they've 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 done their best, and uh, they've done very well. I've had lots of compliments from. I, have, I still have some friends in the peloton, believe it or not, and uh, they're, they're getting fewer and fewer every year as, as, uh, as our age gets up there, but uh, they've been impressed with the comportment of the team, and, and hopefully we have one more, uh, one more result in us uh, left. You know, today's probably going to be a, a bunch sprint, uh, maybe a Cannondale wake back up after uh, a couple days of off days. Sagana here is kind of sick, so... You know, short stage, you know, not too much topography, so looking for a sprint. And hopefully we can just galvanize the group and try to get someone in the top 15, top 10. That would be a great finish for for us. Great. Well, thanks. Well, we'll, we'll see you out there. And, um, yeah, as I said, yesterday uh, was was a great day for, for the Canadian team. And, and seeing Antoine in there, um, you know, not just hanging on but participating was, was, uh, was really impressive. And hopefully it will get him, uh, get him noticed by some of the teams. Yeah, and I think the the biggest thing too, Rob, is just uh, you know the progression of the sport in Canada. You know, having a race of this magnitude um, up here, you know, kind of goes with the BC Super Weeks and the Tour de Bosses and and the World Tour races. I mean, we need just need more events, and uh, this is uh, an event that has a, a great exposure on TV, and internet, and all that stuff. So that's what we need. We need there, there's momentum. There's a lot of great athletes in in Canada. A lot of great uh, male cyclists and and women and para and, and track and BMX, uh, it's really got some great uh, momentum. We just need more events to showcase that talent and hopefully bring in some more corporate sponsorship and, and kind of to keep the snowball effect going. Great. Well, thanks a lot. I'll let you get ready for the last stage. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Thanks, everyone.